that to, at least for me and from what I observe of others, is not native to that actual, that person. I think, as I said before, in my opinion, I suspect, I'm no Dalai Lama, but I think that the best thing you can be is yourself. And that if you can do that truthfully, it'll be beautiful and successful and, and interesting. I don't know about success, like how you define it, but it'll be a worthwhile time spent. And, uh, and, and what happens is you, you, you are sold, and you, the, again, the trap is good because you sell it to yourself. Because you, if you're not on course, you're wanting to be on course, or you should be on course, you've got your own self in jail. It's an autopilot gig. It's quite good. I think there's some hypnotism in there or something. I don't quite know, but it's quite surprising. And, uh, and, and so at the end of the thing, you end up being... You know, like here's an example. You start the ethics technology. So you start thinking, okay, and you start thinking in terms of the conditions of existence that he laid out and that these are behaviors. And so you, now you're not just going, you know what the fuck, I think I need to take a walk and I think I got to become, uh, I'm going to be, a, you know, an insurance salesman and that's my truth. You know, it's, you know, you have to go through these steps and do this. It's like retarded. It's not... It's not true. It's not true. You know, and I did ethics cycles and conditions, and they, nothing changed. I've seen people who've done them, and they've changed, so I don't know, you know, whatever. You know, but there's a placebo effect. I don't quite know. 